people come to historic Haddonfield all the time. They expect to see history, but not a dinosaur. Why a dinosaur down in Haddonfield, New Jersey? This is where the dinosaur world really started. William Parker Folk, who was a scientist at the uh, Academy of Natural Sciences, he comes into Haddonfield, uh, take a little vacation, and uh, finds that his neighbor, William Estall Hopkins, found these bones. So he had no idea of what they were and no idea of their significance. William Parker Folk uh, began to collect these fossils in earnest in Haddonfield, New Jersey in 1858. The skeleton became the subject of the first mounted dinosaur skeleton anywhere in the world, and and that was mounted in 1868, right here at the Academy of Natural Sciences. At the time, this was the most complete dinosaur skeleton discovered anywhere in the world. So Hadrosaurus fulci is a skeleton that was discovered from the Cretaceous period and the rock formation from which it was collected is about 80 million years old. When I was working on creating uh, the sculpture during the 10 months in the barn behind my house, over 500 school kids came to see it. I gave every one of those children a small piece of clay and I said, you put this on, on the sculpture and that will be your spot. There's a dinosaur. What is this dinosaur doing downtown in Haddonfield? They learn a little bit about it from the plaque that's, that's mounted behind there. Sometimes leads them over here to the site. The first nearly complete uh, dinosaur skeleton was discovered in Haddonfield in the 1850s, and nobody really knew anything about it. I decided that I would do an Eagle Scout project to kind of document approximately where the bones were found. This is the most complete dinosaur skeleton known at the time. It was a surprise. It was a significant discovery. It was a, a, a lightning bolt into the scientific world, and uh, we're the honor of having the first one.